right now! What do you mean, hijacked? This is all mine. Yeah, that we've been planning for weeks. Oh! That explains the speed of it, then. What are they even doing in it? Who are those people? Well, there's Tracy and Rona. No, the other two. Well, she's called Christabel, and I can't remember his name. I'll get on whiff-raff, something like that. So, anyway... I will sue you! I will sue you into the ground! It's not even a thing. Right, take us back. Babe, hold on. Take us back, please, now. staging a sit-in. What? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Force of habit, living with loads of flatmates. Um, I was just organising some things with some help. OK. Well, do you still need him? No. No, we're done. Great. Jacob, I couldn't borrow you, could I? I know you've got people to see, but I really, really, really need a strong boy to help me shift some stuff around the gym. Yeah, miss. Yes, miss. Thank you. I'll see you later. Jacob, tuck your shirt in. You're starting to think you run away again, aren't you? It wouldn't mean that he didn't care about you, you know. Of course it would. I know you were getting married and he was going to be Sarah and Jack's stepdad. But me and him, it felt like... But Noah, I know what it felt like. Then it felt the same for him. But he can't have if he ran away. Can't be bothered about me that much, or, or he would have been in contact. Listen, sometimes you're just not in control of what happens to you, OK? What do you mean? No, uh, I uh, forgot to mention I found some video games back at home. So I'm... They're in the bit of the car. I'm parked around the back of the pub. Are they Joe's? <laughs> well, they definitely aren't mine. All right, ta. <laughs> to say something very, very stupid, don't. I'll think about it. Think about this. The heartbreak for Noah, if he finds out the truth, why Joe is never coming back. Well, at least he'd understand why he left. There is no value in anyone else finding out what happened. No value? You robot. You want me to keep my mouth shut? I've made that clear. Well, let's talk about the value in that for me. Get me and my kids back in that house and I'll think about it. It's not my house to give That's away. That's not my problem. But you have to be realistic. I hate you. And I know how to get you in a lot of trouble. Is it me you really hate or is it your father? No, I hate him as well, don't worry. And you're grieving, and of course, this is why you're... Don't try and get inside my head. And don't pretend to understand breathing either. Because it's an emotion and you don't have them. He loved you. And I doubt anyone, except maybe your dead wife, ever has or ever will again. But he did. No, I'll, uh, I'll do what I can. You'll have the keys to me tomorrow morning, won't you? There's not there. Sorry, I, um, I must have forgot to put them in. doing? Ask her. They were stealing from me. Stealing my moment. I should call the police. Well, I'm not actually sure moment theft is recognised as a crime. Two, three, four. <laughs> 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 You said you wanted a flash mob singing My Girl. By the Temptations? Oh. Right. 
this is madness. Yeah, I'll say. Kind of appropriate, then. Were you in on this? No. They didn't know what was happening. It seems like nobody did. I can only apologise and assure you this will not happen tomorrow or at the wedding itself. Shut up! And go away! Do you have to speak to people like that? This was all for you. I didn't want it! Well, how grateful. But I can answer the question you were going to ask. It's no. Can you give me a lift to my car, please? Well, if, if you're sure. So not quite how I imagined. Megan, hang on. You can give me a lift, too. I mean, hardly ever happens. I think it's because she was, like, you know, mega pasty at start. I'm surprised you're here. Surely, the more you encourage people to do this, the more competition for you. Yeah, well, trying to nab a few uh, dirt cheap apprentices, aren't I? To get back into Benice's good books. Oh, uh, hello. Um, you want to be a lorry driver? No. Well, that's what I'm here for. And I'm here because I have to be. So it looks like we're both having our time wasted. I'm really pleased you're considering this. You've already got the right attitude. She's been helping us in between classes. It's been invaluable. All right. Well, she should stop then. What? No, 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 please don't stop. But if it's not valuable... It is. But you just said it wasn't? I said it was invaluable. Yeah, not valuable. But thank you very much. We need to get our story straight, that one. <sighs> just being honest, killing time. Hey, we all know he wants to be a doctor, but it's chock-a-block over there. And... He's already put it out to me, it's not parents' evening, but I just wanted to ask, how's he doing? Yeah, he's good. One of my favourites. No, but I mean, you know, with schoolwork. Well, we all know he's had his issues, but I think he's working through it. Good job. One thing I would like to say, you need to have more ambition, Jacob, to get what you want in life. You mean, be, be a doctor? It's one thing to say it's what you want, but you may even think that you're doing enough. But you've got to prove it. You've got to show how determined you are. Otherwise, sometimes things slip through your fingers. Mm. That is very good advice. Yeah, are you listening, Jacob? Yeah. All right. Sorry to talk as a grain before. And? Well, I mean, it looked more like an argument, really. Was it? No, you're worried. Oh, no, not, not, not for me, no. Oh, no, of course not. You with your legendary selflessness. Can we not have the conversation, please? Debbie, you can't be like this with me forever. Watch me. What have you been saying to her? Whatever I thought would limit the damage. You what? She's becoming rather difficult to handle. Well, you, you don't have to handle her. I told you someone does. And you... Quite clearly, can't even handle yourself. Oi! How much of that have you had? Oh, why are you still here? I made a lot of food, aren't they? And I haven't eaten, so I picked myself a bit. What's well, two of us who've had stupid ideas today? Oh, why? What's been mine? Yeah, trying to get someone I love to marry me. What an idiot I am. Well, I meant the way you went about it. The way I went about it? I was taking your advice. Oi, pony boy. You got any more of this, please? What, that's not going to solve your problems. Can't make it any worse, though, can it? I mean, she can't not want to marry me even more, can she? Oh, well, I'd love to let you get drunk and feel sorry for yourself, cos that's obviously top priority right now. But why don't you spare a thought for V, yeah? And how you've made her feel? Oh, what, wanted? You've given her someone else's proposal! Embarrassed her beyond belief, made her feel about two foot tall, but yeah, go on, Charity, have another drink. Well, I will. And while I do, I'll tell you how I see it, shall I? I'm desperate to marry this person, yeah, who totally knocks me off my feet. Who I don't even actually think I'm good enough for, which I've got in common with a sister. 
So I wanted to do something that would make her feel amazing and fool her into thinking I'm actually a prospect. But, you know, like I usually do, I've gone about it completely the wrong way. Got a bit of bad advice from someone, didn't I? But, hey, I'm an adult. I can make my own decisions. But you know what? If I have made her feel two foot tall, I'm sorry. But she's still towering way above me right now because I'm completely crushed. But, hey, the upside is she's had it confirmed what a complete nightmare I am, so at least now she can try and find someone who deserves her. It might not be that bad. Here you go. And it's a double. Oh, tempting, but I'm on tablets. <gasps> yes, of course, sorry. But you can leave the tonic. If it doesn't do the trick, I'll hit myself over the head with a bottle. That bad, eh? I'd say you should have been there, but the fewer the better. Wouldn't you say? Well, it wasn't the slickest proposal in the world. No. But at least it was the most mortifying. Do you know the saddest thing about it? Was it when they all rushed out and started to sing the wrong song? When I realised what she was doing, I got goosebumps. Well, it is January. Well, that's a good thing, yeah? That's when I thought she'd gone to all that trouble. She didn't need to. to Barging on someone else's thing, even if he was a pig. Well, if she sees a corner, she finds a way to cut it. Well, even if it's meant to be the biggest deal ever. It's just charity being charity. Yeah. Well, she's going to have to be it with someone else from now on. You sure you are? No, I'll get home. Sorry about everything. No, it wasn't your doing. Thanks for the lift. No, I'll keep it. Be sure, it's just an orange juice. Might well, it's money, isn't it? Oh, yeah, of course it is, yeah. What does it matter? Hey, I'll get you a bin if you want. You can throw some away. <laughs> you all right? Off oh, top of the world, yeah. Thought I might find you here. Well, I do live here. Plus, this is where people come to drown their sorrows, isn't it? Badly, in my case. Can I get you a proper one? Uh, no, Tara. Charity's still up there doing something similar. Let me guess with that fella's champagne. I sort of encouraged all of that. She was trying to think of ways to do it. What, and you accidentally said, steal a horse and carriage? I just thought they were a bit lame, her ideas, so I, I told her. Anyway, she barely slept last night and she'd still come up with nothing. And I kept telling her how good it had to be and she was getting all het up because she's actually crazy, isn't she? Anyway, she must have heard Megan on the phone or something. Next thing, she's on her way up to home farm, and then the next thing... I'm rattling along and Boris Johnson's more awful cousin is shouting at me. And you gutted, cos you were thinking, this is amazing. Yeah, pretty much. It still could be. I don't see that very often. Have you got any toast? <laughs> Can we give you a lift somewhere? Mm. Don't freeze. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Thanks for that. You're welcome. You coming in? Nah, do you know what? I think I'm going to go and stare at the walls for a bit. Well, that's all we do anyway. <laughs> no, I'm in the bathroom walls. Under a big mountain of bubbles. Oh, you're making me want to come back with you now. Mm -hmm. OK, good night then. Good night. Night you. <laughs> night. Are you all right? Yeah. Being a bit quiet? Nothing to say. Was it after what Maya said about you getting what you want out of life? Did she get to you? What does she know? <laughs> well, I would argue quite a lot. But do you know what I know? I know that you are a top, top lad. And whether you end up being a doctor, great. Whether you end up being a nurse, great. Or even someone who picks litter up in a park, great. As long as you're happy, that's all that I want. 
Thanks. No, thank you. You're brilliant, you know. I'm dead proud of you. Do you want a beer? Really? No, I just like the idea of saying it. Come on. I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit. All right. Don't be long, it's freezing. I'd offer you a drink, but I've poured it all away. Probably for the best. I am a mess. You don't seem that bad, actually. I meant in general. All oh, right. I've never encountered a situation where I couldn't somehow make it worse. Hey. I've never met anyone I didn't frighten off by doing something stupid. Can I give you a bit of advice? Yeah, yeah. Let me have it. All advice welcome. Self-pity doesn't suit you. You're stronger than that. Apparently not. Have I said I'm sorry? For what? <sighs> well, how's your day been? Weird. I've had better, to tell you the truth. I'm sorry for that. And I'm sorry for... letting you bang on about not being good enough. For me. Because you are. It's me who's not good enough. And I've always known it. It's just a bit of a bummer having it confirmed. Who's confirmed it? You left! And then I came back. So why was that? Because what you just said to me, you said something similar to Tracy, according to her. It was nonsense then, and it's nonsense now. Which bit, just so I know? <laughs> the bit about you not being good enough. And yes, I am good enough for you. We're good enough for each other. We're good for each other. We're perfect for each other. Sorry, so what... What are you saying, exactly? What do you think I'm saying? Nice, eh? What? This. It was a wreck, but oh, Vanessa did it out for Johnny. Oh, then they moved? Mm-hmm, yeah. Which makes this conveniently unused. You're annoyed with me for what I said. No. Jacob. I was. What I said to you about getting what you want out of life, that was a message for you. Yeah, I got that. But if David and Layla take it to mean that you need to work harder at school, well, what does that mean for us? Extra private tuition at mine when everybody else is out. Can't what? Oh. I was right, you can't handle this. No, I can't handle this. But it's nothing to do with being mature enough. It's about being decent. I can't do this to my dad. He's brilliant and I'm lucky to have him. So you decide. Decide what? Do you want to see me? You know I do. Then you've got to stop seeing him. So what have I done with it? I can't find it. Where is it? Where's the ring? Come on. Yes, it's here. I've got it. OK. Please just tell me that I didn't misunderstand that. Right, no, no, you didn't. OK. Ness. No, wait. I was thinking a tree, you know, but then, no, that wouldn't mean anything, would it? And then he might leave. Leaves? No. It's winter, there's no leaves. I'm nervous, can you tell? Lake! Charity, I don't need a special place. 
wherever you are, that's my special place. Oh, that's so good. I wish I'd said that. Just say whatever. Okay. Vanessa, you've clearly got something very deeply wrong with you that would make you willing to put up with me. So I want to take advantage of that by pressuring you into agreeing to spend the rest of your life with me. You know, when we first got together, I was thinking, oh, this is a nice change. But then you made your way into there pretty fast. And that's not something I ever want to lose. I never expected it. But I love it. And I love you. And I never thought these words would ever leave my mouth, but here they come. Will you be my wife? Of course I will. <laughs> come here. <laughs> And if you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can go to itv.com slash advice for support information. Stay with us tonight as we head off on my dream trip next. It's the cruise, Shanghai to Sydney.